Okay everyone, I just wanted to show you a couple of different techniques about measuring intervals um, uh, on on the ECG. Okay, there's a couple of different techniques that we can use and a couple that I'm not a big fan of or just one that I'm not a big fan of. So the two options you have really are uh, using um, an index card or a straight edge of a piece of paper or actually using a caliper. Okay, these give you a little more precise and I'll show you what I mean. Um, way of measuring. So if you're looking here with the PR interval, you'd line the straight edge up of the piece of paper with isometric line, okay? And in this case, then you can see quite clearly where lines leave or deflections take off from that baseline, okay? You mark with a sharp pencil, okay, where the lines leave and take off, and then you remove that and you can put it on a grid where you can clearly count the number of small squares. So one, two, three, and a bit. Okay, and then you multiply by your point zero four. Alternatively, using a caliper, for that same PR interval, because you can see how sharp the edges are, you can get something that's quite precise. Okay? And you can mark where the P wave leaves and where the first deflection of the QR interval leaves the baseline. Okay, again, you can remove your caliper, go somewhere on the grid where you can see, and count the number of small squares. Okay, in this case, we're looking at three, or three and a bit again, for the PR interval, so just over three. Okay? Some of you might get into the habit of just drawing a straight line, okay? where you believe and then counting the squares right on the deflection itself. As you can see with this image, which is from your textbook, the isometric line and some of the deflections actually have some width to the line. So in this case, you could be off by a full small square just based on the thickness of the line. Okay, so it's not the best um, way of counting uh, and uh, you'd be in disagreement off by a small, by I'd say a small square, but sometimes up to two, which would give you the wrong answer, okay? So I just want you to be wary of this shortcut, okay? So this is not what you want to go with. You want to either want to use a caliper or you want to use the straight edge of a piece of paper or um, index card, okay? Thank you.